Hey Curious People, I have been given a Singer sewing machine by my lovely friend Justine. Thank you Justine. Um, to take to pieces, she's got a new one. This one was beyond repair. Um, it was looked at, it's definitely beyond repair. So I'm going to take it to pieces. So you can see it's a nice model. It's very heavy. Um, it's got the pedal there, so there'll be copper inside the cable there. Okay. So I'm guessing we'll start from underneath. Not entirely sure. We'll see. Just get my little. So it's a bit chilly. I'm hoping my hands stay fully functional and sort of under the umbrella. Um, I do prefer doing the big things out here, really. We'll see. Oh, the smaller ones in here. Oh, she's along. long. There we go. Okay, that's a... Right. Uh, we'll just... I will take apart everything I can see. It makes it easier down the line, really. Because typically... Obviously, Singo is a very good make. This metal casing here. While we're here. It's the same, I think. Oh, no, I can't do this one. Okay. Right. Okay. So, so we've got the bulb, this is the mechanism, still got the needle in there. Oh, that's the other one that I undid earlier. So I probably don't need to remove, well, potentially I don't need to remove all of those pieces to get to I think this here is the motor so that's actually the bit that I want to get out but it's um I think it's gonna be a case of everything else has to come off first kind of thing so it's um a big piece of kit this not entirely sure how to get into it what I could do is just <laughs> smash it on the floor and see what happens is my um, backup how do I get into this trick because um, I just need to get this casing off so that I can get to this motor here now it kind of looks like it just clicks in <laughs> here Fiddly. I'm 
I'm kind of hiding under the umbrella here. I've got a nice pigeon for company over there because it's um, it is spitting with rain, and uh, which is a bit grim. So I do want to try to separate all of the metal so it can be recycled effectively. Hmm. Some of these are just much easier by hand actually. supply to the bulb there. Leave that in there for now. So I'm very much hoping I can get this done before the rain really comes down because I'm only under umbrella, nothing actually waterproof. Right, so another one. Some of them are very tight. I'm quite sure that they don't all need to come out um, for. I just want to take them all out. I want to strip it down, send the plastic off to plastics and get every piece of metal to be recycled and any copper for me. So, that's every screw I can see. There are more, but I can't get to them at the moment. It's quite brittle because it's quite old plastic. But at the moment, I don't think there's any screws now. Holding that top casing, I might just undo that while I'm here. point here okay ooh look at this nice that's a lovely mechanism you can appreciate the engineering here very nice indeed right so that's the bottom oh that's the spare um where you keep your bits and pieces Holding the other one, is it on? It is.
Okay, what, what do I need to do? I need to get this plastic off is what I need to do. So, how do I do that, I wonder? Do I just go up and get really brutal and smash it? Or is there a quick and easy way I can click it off? It, shall we? I've got my glasses out here. I reckon if I get those bad boys out, it will separate. I just didn't notice those before with the handle there. I smashed the handle off and I noticed them. Probably obvious to anyone looking at it from a, another angle but right hello hello beagle it's raining out here darling Clips. Oh, darling. <laughs> Don't go in. Come here, Sandra. Might have to. I struggle to get these out sometimes. There we go. Mm. Might do it. I can get it in the right. in place here somewhere the lovely thing about sewing machines is it's not like um, other appliances where the weight um, isn't actually coming from metal anything of value like washing machines for example they're super heavy but actually the weight in them is the concrete bits that are holding the drum in place whereas this the weight here is actually the metal so it's good value on that sense. Uh, check my nail varnish. Da, da, da. Oh, good. This is doing it. do myself a mischief. Another one. Right.
There, there's the annoying little culprit. I think a hidden little screw. I mean, there had to be something around on it. I think so. Yeah, it's wibbling around. Let's see. No! <laughs> Come on! Let's just see if once. Yay! Finally! Crikey. I'm sure I made that harder than it needed to be. Right. This is so weighty. It's brilliant. Okay. This is the motor in here. Fabulous. Too big. I can do that one though. There we go, I can feel it loosening now. Let's just see if I can move some stuff out of the way so I can get to it. would like to get a bit of a look at it what a weird thing that is oh I had to loosen it though I was going to say am I undoing this with a screwdriver or a spanner but it's mm. screwdriver obviously did the trick okay another nice chunky bit Okay, sewing machine motor. Thermal cutoff at 150 degrees Celsius. All right. Someone like me, though, I actually want the casing off so I can see inside this thing. But I don't think that's going to be very easy. Look, you can see all the copper in there. Hmm. Nice. Nice weighty motor. Okay, as for the rest. That belt out of there. Still a little bit of plastic left on here. Um Now, this can be obviously stripped down further. Look at that. Amazing, love that. Um, especially if you want to sell it as clean metal, then these plastic bits have got to come off. But for my purposes, I think I might just get the power cord out and then um, leave the rest just as scrap metal I've got what I wanted which was the motor and all of the cable that I could get 
but yeah, it's a fantastic piece of engineering. It really is. I mean, especially this mechanism. Brilliant. Solid, absolutely solid. So obviously there's loads more screws in here. Um, yeah, that's definitely all I want off of it, I think. The rest can go as one solid piece. Um, you could separate the metals if you wanted to. I don't, I don't need to do that for my purposes, but that is heavy. That is a nice chunk of scrap metal right there. Oh, of course, the switches. Hmm. Want to have a look inside the switches? Why not? Tiny bit more cable, bit of brass on the connector, bit of brass there on that nut. And some more brass in there. On the pins for the plug. There we have it. Okay. So, done in the most non-delicately way possible. This is what you get inside a Singer, Singer sewing machine. Okay, thanks for watching. Stay safe. See you in the next one. Bye.